the Saints, Kenzie Bradshaw here, back once again. Top 10, number 4. And it's my top 10 most anticipated games 2019. Only rule we need here is it's a confirmed 2019 release date. Confirmed or scheduled for 2019 anyway. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on with it. Number 10, Pokemon Switch. Now, that's not the official title for the game yet. We don't know what the game is going to be, or whether it's going to say it might be the start of a new generation, Generation 8, but that remains to be seen. And from there, it's just a case, uh, well, for us, so we'll just wait and see what happens. Um, yeah, but chances are it's going to be the start of a new generation. It's definitely new main Pokemon games like it. Ruby, Sapphire, Black and White, Gold, Silver, Red, Blue. You know, th those, th those sort of games. Now, if it's a new generation, what the new region is going to be remains to be seen. But it is, shared, it is slated for a 2019 release date. So, fingers crossed I can get myself a switch in time for that. Number nine, Shenmue 3. Fans have been waiting so long for this. We finally get the climax of the trilogy. And while the remasters of 1 and 2 did uh, perform underwhelmingly, it doesn't change the fact that fans are still excited for, 29, uh, for Shenmue 3. Shenmue, one of, the, one of the biggest cult classics on the Dreamcast, but didn't really sell well, which ultimately led to the Dreamcast's downfall. But even at that... The Shenmue games are still regarded as some of the best of all time, and it's easy to see why. Started on Kickstarter, we first got word of it at, well, I first got word of it at E3 2015, and my goodness me, fans were hyped. It met its Kickstarter goal, and here we are, on the verge of its scheduled 2019 release. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice at number 8. <sighs> looks. Looks incredible. And it's not that surprising given the fact that it's given the fact that it's from software. The guys behind Dark Souls and Bloodborne. I mean, wow. It looks amazing. The gameplay looks fantastic. Scheduled for March, scheduled for March 2019. This is definitely one that's going to be on my playlist. Number seven, Trials Rising. Ah, the Trials games. The site of many a broken controller next to Dark Souls and Bloodborne. That perfect run is always very difficult to get, but when you get it, my word, it is very, very satisfying. Again, scheduled for 2019. Not much else I can say beyond that, but good luck not breaking any controllers over this one. Number six, it's uh, one of the first games to come out this year, uh, Jump Force. Revealed at E3 2018, uh, a lot of anime characters, it's gonna be, it looks like it's going to be some sort of fighting game, I believe. But, my goodness me, Naruto, among many others, looks amazing. Fingers crossed we get a great follow-up uh, as far as um, a successor to Dragon Ball Fighters is concerned. Number five, Anthem. Don't screw this up, EA! <sighs> I 
a new Dragon Age game on the way from Bioware. And they've been and they've been focusing on getting Anthem ready as well. And we first got word of this at E3 2016 or 2017. But like I, but like I said, do not screw this up, EA. But according to the old proverb, those who do not learn for history from history are doomed to repeat it. And EA have done that on so many occasions. If this game ends up causing Bioware to close up shop, I'm officially done with EA. And that means the Dragon Age game gets and that means Dragon Age 4 gets cancelled. Here's hoping we don't have Bioware closing up shop. Because that means that's just another list. That's just, just another victim on their EA's casualty list. Anyway, number four. Super Meat Boy Forever! If they, pr if they announce that game as over the top as that at the start menu, beggars believe. How difficult was the first one? But my word, how excited am I for this sequel? Very, because this is definitely one that's going to be on my playlist. Well, I mean, why wouldn't it be on my playlist? It's in my top 10. Come on! Now, it's going to maintain the same art style. It's going to maintain the same tight controls. So basically, any mistakes are practically yours and yours alone to blame. Now, how they get off? How on earth are they going to follow up on such a difficult, difficultly perfect game? Oh, we'll wait and see. Now we're just a few weeks away from, well, we're just a few months away from uh, our number three entry. But my goodness me, the eleventh entry in this long-running series—it's been causing controversy. We've been finishing our opponents. We've been causing fatalities. It's only the one and only Mortal Kombat. 11. We've got a community event in a couple of weeks. Which I'll be keeping my eyes on. I'll report on it on the podcast as well. And uh, it's scheduled for April 2019. And from the first trailer... It's very brutal. Number two now. Those who know me well know how much I love singing the praises of Ori and the Blind Forest. It's the most perfect game I've ever played. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, scheduled for 2019. As soon as I heard the music from Gareth Coker, at E3 2017, as soon as I heard that music for the first time, I thought, wow, this music's beautiful. And then I saw the trailer, I was like, this is Ori, this is Ori, this is an Ori sequel. And we finally have a re we finally have it scheduled for 2019. We don't have an official date for it yet, but we'll find out soon enough. Will I be seeing Ori's, will I be singing Ori's praises once again? Of course I will, I love Ori. I'll be going through One Life mode, as one of my playthroughs on this channel throughout the year. Fingers crossed I can actually complete it this time. Because I, I, I've tried numerous times on One Life mode. It's pretty difficult, to say the least. Anyway, that's out of the way. Honourable mentions time. We have got um, Devil May Cry 5, Days Gone, Crackdown 3, and Dead or Alive 6. Those are the honourable mentions. Not much else I can say for them. But anyway, our top 10 so far. Number 10, Pokemon Switch. Number 9, Shenmue 3. Number 8, Sek Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Number seven, Trials Rising. Number six, Jump Force. Number five, Anthem. Number four, Super Meat Boy Forever! Number three, Mortal Kombat 11. And number two, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. 
I think it's a no-brainer as to what number one's going to be. So here it is. Not just my number one most anticipated game of 2019, but pretty much everybody else's. Kingdom Hearts 3. Four, uh, 13 years we have waited for a sequel to Kingdom Hearts 2. We've had Birth by Sleep, we've had Recoded, 358 over two days, Dream Drop Distance, uh, what else? Fragmentary Passage, and, wow, we're finally here. Big Hero 6, Monsters Inc., Wreck-It Ralph, Tangled, Frozen, Pirates of the Caribbean, Hercules. Have I said Toy Story already? So many worlds we're going to be exploring. And, wow. January 25th. We're just three weeks away, folks. Three weeks away from the most anticipated release of 2019. As far as gamers are concerned, anyway. This is this is scheduled to be the climax of the Xehanort story arc. What a great send off it would be if we were to have the perfect climax. As far as the story arc is concerned, There we go, that's my top 10 most anticipated games of 2019. Are there any games you're looking forward to throughout 2019? Sound off in the comments below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized in following this channel, hit the sub subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell. Join the Life of Destiny Notification Squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. On the left, my top 10 channel moments of 2018. And on the right, my top 10 playlist. Top 10 movies. Top 10 most anticipated movies of 2019 next. Till then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.